hi guys in this video i will show you how to upload multiple images in laravel application so let's get started with an example so i will do it from scratch so i will say laravel new okay and it will asking for the project name so i will say laravel dash app okay and it is also asking for starter kit i don't want to use anyone so no okay and let's wait a moment to download all the laravel dependencies so let's wait a moment Yeah, then it is asking for which database you want to use i will use mysql then they say uh, default database updated so i will say no and i don't want to use npm install so no and you can see that it's created laravel app okay and let me clear it okay and then i'm going to use my vs code editor and open the project so let me go here triple w okay and let me go to the me laravel and inside the laravel i am going to use laravel apps so open it then let me go to the env first yes i can trust go to the env and then first let me change the database configuration over here so laravel dash app that is the correct database name and then my password is laravel root save it okay and let me run the migration okay php artisan migrate okay migration is running let me go to the table plus okay so if i refresh it you can see that all the users and all the default tables are there okay now first of all what i will do i will create the one route where uh, user can choose the multiple images okay so let me go and create the controller for that php artisan mac controller and i will say image controller okay and then let me go here and let me create new route for it so let's say route get route and image upload then i will use that image upload controller dot what we created and class then that will be an index method save it okay and let me go to the image controller okay so we'll go to the app http image controller here i am going to create methods that call index okay and here just return view and view i will create image upload save it okay and let me go here go to the resource view here i'm going to create new file that's called image.blad.php okay and here i'm going to use bootstrap 5 for this simple example so i will use uh, my custom snippet for it so it include the bootstrap cdn file over here and inside the container i am going to create like bootstrap card for the proper design so you can see that here so i will say multiple image upload example okay save it okay and let's see it's working or not so let me go here and let me run php artisan so okay and now let me go here and go to the browser and we created image dash upload okay and you can see that multiple image upload example so that's up to here we are fine okay so now what i will do i will create one form over here okay so i will say form okay and then i'm going to create a new field so i will use bootstrap input that my okay uh, like shortcut for that so i will use the name that means the images where you can choose multiple images type will be file and here i will say images okay and we are going to allow users to multiple image choose so i will say array okay and here i will say in the input multiple so user can choose the multiple save it images save it okay and that's correct okay and here i'm going to pass csrf token so i will say csrf token okay yeah that's cool okay now let me allow for the enc type uh, multi-part uh, form data so let me go enc type and multi-part form data so user can select the images okay and also at the end let me add new button for this submit button so i will use submit button over here okay so button and type will be submit and i will use the bootstrap class btn dash success and then i will say submit that's perfect okay save it okay now i will also define the action method will be the post so i will say method that will be the post 
and I will create new route for it. So let me go here and I will say post. Okay, image upload. I will keep the name of the uh, route. Okay, and then I will just change the method and I will define the route name for it so I can use in the form. So image dash dot upload dot store save it okay and copy this name and then i'm going to use over here okay so i'm going to use using the route helper okay so yeah save it okay and now let me go to the controller and create a new function over here and store and let's see just uh, that's called request all so that's uh, let's see all the input okay and save it okay and now let me go here and refresh it you can see that there is a simple input like images and you can choose all the images okay so i am going to choose this and i can also choose like i can select the multiple images okay open and click on submit you can see that i can get the token and also i can get the images with the array so you can see over here okay that so what i am going to do the next is first of all i am going to add validation so i will use request validate and then i will say just images is required okay and then i am going to say images dot star so that means inside the key that should be a image okay so i will just keep that should be the image okay and if there is an image then it should be the allow so let me go and click on continue you can see that so that means we already chose the images okay so now what i will do i will create new table that's called images and i will upload these images to the folder and then i will also store into the database so let me create new migration so i will say php artisan mac migration and i will say create images table okay and then let me go to the database migrations and here i'm going to say just one column that's called just a name okay i will just keep the name because folder always the same so that's why but you can say maybe path or whatever if you want to store the path so in this example i am just going to use name save it okay and let me run the migration php artisan migrate okay and let me go to the table plus and refresh you can see that image is table with just name column okay let me create model for it so php artisan mac model and image okay and now let me go here and go to the models images and here i am going to define the uh, <coughs> column name okay so i will say protected and then i will use Fillable and then let me define just name column save it yeah that's good cool. okay now i will use this uh, over here okay so let me close this okay now what i will do if everything fine then i can use for each okay for the request images okay and then i don't require key for it so i will keep this key okay and image okay save it and first i will de uh, define the name of image so i will say image name okay and then i will use just time format for now and then i will concat with the uh, with the key okay so uh, like because it's uh, doing for each loop so time will be always the same so that's the reason so now just two and then i will use image and get the extension of because it should be the png or maybe it can be a jpg whatever extension okay so this is the name of the file we define and then i am going to use image object and move function because i want to store this image to the public folder okay so public underscore path and that should be a images folder and then second argument will take the image name okay after this done i am going to use image okay from the model and then i am going to just create one record okay so i will see just name and image name okay save it okay everything going well then i am going to just return back return back with success message so i am going to just with 
success that means the flash messages so images are stored successfully okay so that's cool okay and now let me go here to the image upload and here i'm going to display the success message okay so let me go here and here i will just say session okay and then i will say success here i'm going to use bootstrap class alert alert success and then i will just display the value from the session attribute okay save it now let me go and let's try it okay so let me go back refresh yeah it's nothing because i need to run again the project php artisan sir yeah refresh now let me choose uh, two images okay so one this this and click on open and click on submit you can see that image are stored successfully so let me go to the first folder so let me go here public images if your server is very secure then you need to create this folder by default my all the given the permission so that's why it's created automatically you can see that these two images now let me go to the database refresh app you can see that it's perfect yeah zero and one that's already key it's useful okay because you can see that timestamp always be the same because it's instantly doing that okay now let me go and display that images over here so like we can realize user can realize it's uploaded okay so what i will do let me go here to the yeah let me close and here i'm going to use all the images so i'll say images image column column cat that means all the images are taken from the image model so then i am going to just compact and i am just going to pass images save it and here i will just say h4 and uploaded images okay then i am going to just say for each okay for the images dollar images and image okay and then what i need to do i will just click one image i will take from the because uh, it's already stored from the public so i will see just images okay i don't use alter for now and then i'm going to class for the p2 so padding will be 2 and i'm going to style for style and width will be 200 pixels something okay because otherwise it will be a very big so it's taken from the images uh, folder and then i'm going to just display the name get the name okay save it okay and then let me go here and refresh it you can see that now both images are displaying over here okay now let me choose another okay so if i click on it and let me choose this and this and click open yeah, sometimes it happens so let me refresh it properly go here because there's lots of data in my download folder so let me go here click on open and click on submit you can see that image are stored successfully and that two, two images are stored properly okay so i hope guys this is very basic and for the starter kit to uh, like uh, with the laravel and if you like this video then share with your friends and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys